moving walkways at the airport. Well, they go about 1.3 miles an hour. But now a startup by two brothers is giving them a turbo boost in Hebron. They're developing the world's fastest walkway, topping out at 10 miles per hour. So we sent WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan uh, over to speak with the co-founders and show us how it works. That's one small step for man <laughs> and one fast leap for mankind. We think of them as little Lego pieces and they connect together to form a walkway of any length. And then section by section, we accelerate the passenger. Accelerate them up to 10 miles per hour. This is the first prototype made from home treadmills. Built by brothers John and Mateen Uxel. It's like a race, race car on the racetrack with no seatbelt or airbag. It just, it's just rough riding it, but for the experience. They're the co-founders of Beltways, carrying out their father's vision. So we can be 20x cheaper than a tram system with the same amount of throughput. That's the game changer. This started in Silicon Valley and quickly ended up in the tri-state. Misconception is that we don't have the talent, we don't have the resources, but we do. We're a booming ecosystem. Nonprofit Main Street Ventures is advancing entrepreneurship in the tri-state and gave Beltways a grant for $27,000 to scale up. To be able to help them get to that next level is always so exciting. This is Beltway's next level. The world's smallest walkway, but it's the start of something bigger. Their fourth prototype with guardrails, sensors, and access for mobility devices. They say they're in talks with several airports, including CVG. The hard engineering part was really all that you see right here, and it's just a copy paste of that to make it longer. A vision of the future with walkways everywhere for these brothers. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> is a not so distant reality. Anywhere where pedestrians are essentially. Uh, we go where the masses gather. Talking the talk about a future Opa. where walking the walk <laughs> is much oh faster. God. Maybe 10 miles an hour is our top speed now, but who's to say that's going to be our top speed down the road? In Hebron, Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News.